hello guys welcome back to my channel so welcome back today is sunday and i'm very excited to make this video um because it's an issue that we all have to address being africans and being nigerians in particular so first thing first let me say welcome my 200 subscribers and thank you for subscribing to my channel if you are new to my channel please what are you waiting for click the button you see that red button with that arrow over there click it it's not it, it's not expensive it's not gonna cost you anything so guys as my topic says i really want to like um air out my opinion on this topic because i actually got to see a text a couple of days ago and it was from a so-called nigerian philanthropist or something advising young people and i'm just gonna read it out for you to hear you know so it says when you are climbing the ladder of success be very selfish and be focused on where you're heading to do not try to carry the burden of supporting parents or siblings with you on that ladder as you will fall off that ladder and no one will succeed climb the ladder alone and when you get to the top hmm, and your foot is solidly on the ground then throw down a strong rope to pull them up to where you are standing none of them will remember the days that you were selfish and the days you ignored them they will remember that you were not selfish in sharing your success since you have pulled them up to join you without them taking the hard road to get there so in a very simple word in a very simple sentence let's put it this way he's advising young people especially young people moving abroad let's start there because that's where it starts and because i am one of them you know i am i have you know been living abroad for you know i was in dubai for three years and in germany now for almost two years so i've been living abroad for four years for a bit more and i know and i can relate to this um to this advice you know and especially for those of us heading to europe germany precisely or other parts of the world um you should really take this advice seriously because honestly we have been fed lies we have been fed to believe that you know when we get abroad or you know we have to start you know taking care of our siblings we have to start taking care of our family we have to start sending money home and a lot of people in nigeria still don't understand that getting abroad at least you need you need at least a year to get to your feet so you need a couple of months to settle in you need a couple of months to um, find a job you need a couple of months to get the feeling of the environment where you are and of course at least for a year and more than a year you should not be bothered about you know taking care of siblings or parents or whatever and you shouldn't feel guilty when you are not because guys it should be the other way around you know families are supposed to be supporting you financially um psychologically emotionally they're supposed to be supporting you they're supposed to be giving you words of support they're supposed to be encouraging you they're supposed to be praying for you because it's not easy abroad you know at the end of the day it's not easy um it's not easy even being a black person abroad so um this topic was very sensitive to me because <clears throat> i remember a friend of mine um you know he wanted to he's in germany and he wanted to come back home to nigeria oh for those of you who don't know i'm in nigeria right now <laughs> so <laughs> yeah I like to run away sometimes <laughs> so this friend of mine I'm talking about he wanted to come home and he's been in Germany for like six years and um, 
you know he was telling his brother listen i just need to come home you know things have been happening and the brother was like yeah but there's no need you know you're just gonna you know spend your flight money and you're just gonna come here and spend you know so much money and you know our father's house is still not finished and you know instead of you coming home um why not just you know send us the money because i'm sure you could be buying a flight ticket for like you know 700 euros and you could be spending when you get here not less than 200 to 300 thousand naira why not just give us that money because it's gonna go a long way for our father's house and i'm like what <laughs> first thing first you should be happy that your brother is coming home like you should even be like thrilled that your brother or your family member is coming home like you're not excited to see them but you're excited to take their money you know because for a lot of african family it's just more about what we can get from our child yes i said it what we can get from our child children are seen as some kind of insurance policy you know where you can just you know i'm just gonna have five kids because you know who knows even if i don't send them to school maybe one of them one or two of them become so lucky and you know hits the jackpot and then i you know i have the rest of my life sorted out <laughs> like this mentality is driving me crazy like it's really driving me crazy i have another friend also who um she has seven siblings so her, their parents had eight kids and this girl she was my very good friend i hope she's not watching this video <laughs> anyway this girl i love her to death and of course i'm not in any way trying to diss her or her family but long story short she has siblings and she was catering a lot for them you know paying the school fees of you know of her younger ones and that prompted her to end up in a very you know bad relationship even though she knew that she was in a bad relationship it was not easy for her to get out because this guy was providing so much for her and also their family that whenever he, you know whenever he does bad things to her like you know abuse her like you know beat her up or something like that the family would step in and beg on you know his behalf when he comes back to her or when he wants to come back to her you know and so today they are married the marriage is not like 100 percent perfect but at the same time <clears throat> she still goes through what she she's been going through and you know part of the reason why i saw that she didn't really want to leave that relationship is just because she felt like you know um this guy is really doing a lot for me and you know he's doing a lot for my family and the father of this girl who's who's supposed to be responsible for this kids of course he doesn't give you know he don't care and at the end of the day he saved up a bunch of money and all he had to do was get married to his high school sweetheart abandoning my friend's mother so he got married to he, a woman he's been seen or he had been seen for you know couple of years before he got married and had eight kids and you know he decided that in his old age he was gonna you know catch up with this woman and get married again this is somebody who his you know first two three kids were catering for the rest of the kids you know so at the end of the day it's like wherever you are my advice to you my opinion is wherever you are whatever part of the country you are living i've heard a lot of people say something like oh i haven't been home for the past six years or for the past eight years or for the past 10 years that can never happen to me you know i come from a place where i'm tied to home you know i love nigeria so much um things are not perfect in nigeria but i do love my country and i love where i'm from i love my food i love our culture um i don't like some of the mentality that or some of the you know the notion we have in nigeria but it's where you're from you know and staying away from where you come from for so long um i don't know how people survive it but i just cannot you know i feel like i have to touch base you know home and 
you know moving to Germany where the culture was so different from what we have um, was an eye-opener for me and was also a shocker for me because I had to really adjust you know but that said all I'm just trying to put out here is that you shouldn't feel responsible you shouldn't it's not in your place to feel responsible i know there are families or you have siblings you would like to support just do it within your power just like that text i just read don't try to take too much people with you because just just gonna end up bringing you down first of all when you arrive at these foreign countries try to get your two feet on the ground try to have a stable job try to be comfortable try to have a nice apartment then start thinking about you know helping people you know because you're just gonna find yourself in a very bad position when you're just you know arriving abroad and then you're already killing yourself to send money home to help your siblings and some a lot of siblings feel entitled they feel like yeah my brother has been a brother and he doesn't send me any money so what I mean if it's that easy jump into a plane ticket and and go abroad and, and do it for yourself you know so Whoever you are here in my, you know, watching this video, um, do yourself a favor. You shouldn't feel guilty for not being able to deliver for your family. You just heard what I read. First, try to, you know, find your two feet wherever you are and then extend the large rope, you know, to bring them on board. You cannot help everyone in life at the end of the day you can as well just do your best and that's what i believe do your best and leave the rest for god but at the same time don't overdo it because we don't want a situation whereby at the end of the day the same people who you're trying to help um talk you know they would you know when you don't make it in life or when you don't succeed they would still turn back and you know laugh at you and say oh he or she was abroad for you know 20 years and he didn't achieve anything meanwhile you were out there you know scrubbing your feet to you know to send money home or to help your family member um without first establishing yourself abroad so guys i hope i'm i was able to make sense here I hope I make sense here but I'm gonna love you and leave you and of course if you have any opinions with regarding to this topic leave them at the comment section below and I'm gonna see you in my next video until then lots of love Mwah. bye